name's Analon. I'm part of the Young Tribe. We live here in Cornwall in the UK. We've recently, um, within the past couple of years, joined the NOD, having a great time, trying to get uh, bits and pieces done to help. We try to help the environment a lot down here in Cornwall. We recycle. Uh, we look after um, as much of nature as we can. We connect with trees in our local woods and we go and see the sea um, and generally just try and help the environment and help the planet as much as we can. Important to me in Druidism um, is, I think, the planet. Um, we have to do something to, to make sure that this area of land, Mother Earth, is kept in peak condition, otherwise she won't look after us anymore through no fault of her own, through our fault. So to me it's making sure that the planet, uh, the environment uh, is looked after and people understand that trees are essential for our life for various reasons. Not only do they give us the oxygen, but the ancestors, the spirits will live in the trees and in the stones and we have to look after them. I was researching, I needed a druid character for a children's book that I'm writing, a fiction story. And I don't know why, but for some reason I just wanted a druid in it. And I started researching, found the new order of druids, got hooked, and that was it. I thought, yeah, this is great. Um, found some information, printed it out from the internet, left it lying around for the rest of the family to see, on purpose, but quite discreetly, so I'm crafty like that and um, they found it and my daughter she said to me hmm. she said mum she said these druids she said we're druids and I said uh, yeah looks that way and the rest as I say is history I find living down here in Cornwall which is a Celtic country right down the um, tip of the UK it's very easy for us because there are a lot of other people on the pagan path around here. We're absolutely, totally surrounded by ancient sites. We have stone circles, we have dolmens, we have barrows, we have Bodmin Moor, which is really, really wild, and that really pulls me. And it just makes it easy because there's lots of other people like us around and we often meet them when we're at these sites. And it's great. It, it must be really difficult for people that are not in that kind of situation, in that kind of environment, but there's just so much nature here. We've, we're never more than 20 miles from the beach, so you've got that connection. You've got the countryside looks like it just stretches forever, and I think it actually does, at least down here. Um, it just makes it so easy. It's really great. I'm really pleased that we live here. I'd never want to live anywhere other than Cornwall. Not in this life, anyway. Um, I think probably one of the most important things in Druidism is your freedom of choice. So you can use it as a religion if you want to, or just as a way of life. We use it as a way of life, because we sort of just, I don't know, it's something about religion, we just don't get on that well with it. But, um, yeah, so sort of freedom of choice, you can follow it how you like. So whether you want to branch on the spiritual or not is your own choice. You sort of, is, there isn't any... Um, Sort of rules that you've got to follow, telling you how you've got to lead your life. Like, so that's probably one of the most important things: having your choice. It makes sort of being a druid much easier when you're down sort of with lots of ancient sites, like we have down here in Cornwall. I mean, they're sort of everywhere, really. I mean, you've got lots up on the moors, which are very wild, and there's sort of lots of things up there. You've got um, dolmens, burial chambers, um, some ancient settlements as well that you can go to and you sort of feel the energies and you sort of, if you like, travel back so that you're like living there and you can try and imagine what it's like sort of living in that time and it's much easier. I graduated the youth course at the end of July and uh, that helped me a lot because I've um, sort of read some of the myths and legends and such and, that, and um, looked into different things that I wouldn't have even thought about sort of, to be with if I hadn't taken the youth course. Um, so that makes sort of your understanding much easier. Um, and ev um, everybody can sort of understand it, relate to it, and get through it easily so that they know sort of what is going on. And, that, and 
and it's much, it's easy to follow. The most important part of Druidism to me is connecting with nature really and with the stone circles. The go-to.